Today I am going to be bleaching my roots. So they've got pretty bad, they've grown out a lot recently. I must have left my hair for, I can't even remember, months now, it must have been summer, like June, July I reckon, I've left it grow. Um, but it's getting a bit too much now and I like there to be more colour than root. I do love my roots, don't get me wrong, I think it looks really cool. But they get it gets to a point and then I need to get rid of them. So I'm going to get rid of them today. I'm going to be using Garnier Olea um, dye. I can't remember the shade because I don't have the box. But it was like a really sort of like white platinum blonde. So I'm going to be using their bleaching powder in the kit, the bleaching cream in the kit, their gloves, and then instead of using their peroxide, I'm gonna be using my own cream peroxide, which is 12%, which I got from Sally's. I've got a little bit left, so it should be enough. So I'm literally gonna mix all of those in my bowl, and I've got a brush and some hair bands to section my hair off. So what I'll do is I'll just do step by step and talk you through how I bleach my roots. I'm going to start by sectioning my hair. Now I'm going to mix the bleach. my roots section by section making sure I cover the dark roots and blend just down into to some of the blue as well. Don't forget your gloves! done and now I'm going to go on to the second section so the other front bit of my hair and I'm going to do exactly the same again so work the bleach from my roots into the blue just overlapping the blue slightly Once I finish each section, I'm going to make sure that I've definitely covered all of my roots. So I'm just going to go back over it just quickly, sort of smishing it in, and then also rubbing it in with my fingers. Just because I don't want any random bits of dark hair afterwards because you'll be able to tell. And then I'm going to get my Tangle Teaser brush and just brush it through. Just making sure that I'm brushing the bleach into the blue. Perfect. So now I'm going to section that off again. Moving on to the next section now. So it gets a little bit trickier because it's at the back. So I always just try my best at covering it all and then what I do is I usually get somebody to just check the back of my hair to see if it's all covered and I haven't got any patches or anything and if I do they tend to help me and cover them up so that's good. do with this section is I pull the hair over the front part of my head just to keep it out of the way so I can work downwards. So that's the third 
red section done now and moving on to the final I find it a lot quicker if you section your hair I used to kind of just smush the dye everywhere and do a bit here and there but it's so much quicker to get it on if you do it in sections and then it also doesn't get your hair tangled or anything so once I've completed this last section I am going to go back over all of the sections just making sure that I've covered all of my roots and then I will leave the bleach on for a certain amount of time before washing off. So that is the final section all done and now I'm just going to go back over all of the other ones making sure I've covered all of the hair and I can start to see the blonde coming through now so it'll make it easier at spotting the little bits that I haven't managed to get. finish off applying the bleach I'm just going to give my head a little bit of a massage not too heavy I just want to make sure all the roots are covered and that's it so now I'm going to tie my hair up like so just loosely so the air can get to the dye And I'm going to leave this on now for about 45 minutes and then I'm going to have a look at it and see whether it needs a little bit longer. I won't leave it on longer than an hour though just because obviously it's bleach and it damages your hair. And then because my hair is so dark that is the reason why I didn't use the peroxide within the kit and that is why I've bought this one at 12%. It's not the strongest one, I think it's the third strongest, um, but it does help getting my hair too blonde. The only thing is, I know it's gonna come out a bit gingery, it always does because my hair is so dark. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably use a toner on my hair afterwards to try and get rid of a bit of the brassiness. And then that'll be it. That'll be how I bleach my roots at home. And then there will be a part two to this video where I basically re-dye my hair and I'm going to be dyeing it different shades of blues and purple. So yeah, so here it goes to waiting for about 45 minutes. So the dye's been on for about 45 minutes now, so I'm probably going to leave it on maybe for about 5 minutes longer. It's looking okay actually. There's a few bits that are a bit orangey so I might just brush my hair through again and maybe add on the last little bit of bleach and just leave it on for like five or ten minutes longer and then I will wash it out. So I've just washed the bleach out. As you can see it is a little bit gingery. So I am going to take some of Jerome Russell's Maximum Blonde Toner and I'm just going to put it in a little mixing bowl and I'm going to use the brush and I'm just going to go over my roots to try and get some of the brassiness out. I'm pretty pleased with how it all looks. I think I've got most of the roots covered. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to tone the brassiness out and then I'll show you the finished look and that's pretty much how I do my roots. And then obviously there'll be a part two of this video where I am going to be dyeing my hair back to a blue purple.
So now the tone is on, I'm going to leave it on for about 15 minutes and then I'll wash it out and show you the finished look. So I've just washed off the toner, I left it on for about 20 minutes and this is the finished look after bleaching my roots. Now I'm pretty pleased with it, I managed to cover up all of my dark roots which got quite long, I'd never normally leave them that long. I mean it's still a little bit brassy but it's not as bad as previous times I've dyed my hair, it's pretty good. It could probably do with a little bit more toner if I'm honest but I think I'm going to leave it and I'm just going to give it a go at dyeing it blue. So I'm just going to go over it and to be honest most of the time the brassiness does end up washing out after a while anyway. So hopefully it won't affect the colour too much. Obviously it is good to get your hair as white as possible before you add colour. But hopefully you're not going to be able to tell that much. So fingers crossed. So yeah I hope you all enjoyed this at home bleaching your roots video. And if you did please like and subscribe to my channel. Peace out.